tonight. Heavy fog this morning is blamed for a deadly crash in Weld County. A mother and her young son were killed. That crash happened at Highway 52 and Weld County Road 41, just outside the town of Hudson. And that's where we find Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski. This is already, Jen, known as a bad corner. Shannon and exactly, which is why they've put in this stop sign. You actually can't see right now. It's behind that semi, but it's a stop sign with flashing lights. But they say that the fog was so bad this morning that investigators believe the woman may not have seen it were the two trucks that were coming straight at her. There was very poor visibility, very heavy fog. It was one of those cold Colorado mornings where the thick fog made it tough to see, let alone drive. I could barely see the corner. I mean, it was really foggy. It almost looked like it was snowing. Reed Meyercourt lives on the corner of Highway 52 and Weld County Road 41. As soon as he heard the crash. It sounded like a like a bomb went off. He knew. I just could see that it was really bad. Troopers say a 29 year old mother of three was driving northbound on County Road 41, ran the stop sign and likely didn't see the two trucks coming east and westbound on Highway 52. We're doing CPR and a child right now. In an instant, an entire family torn apart. It's terrible. I mean, instantly think of my daughter. This is the mom's mangled Suzuki hatchback as they towed it away. Investigators say the crash killed the woman and her six-year-old son. The family's three-year-old daughter was rushed to Children's with serious injuries. A baby also in the car is expected to be okay. Another driver was ejected and is also in the hospital. A horrific scene. Troopers say brought out heroic efforts. And complete strangers. One of them performed CPR on one of the children um, just uh, for for those pe first people on scene without having additional resources they did an amazing job. And here's a look at that stop sign you can see it now it, it does have flashing lights to make sure that drivers can see it and neighbors have told us that this really is a bad corner and CSP says there have been several crashes and here's evidence remember Reed, that guy we talked to on the corner he's collected all of this debris from previous crashes. Reporting live in Wells County tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, Denver 7. Wow, what a tragedy. Thank you, Jen.